how to actually burn additional fat during exercise. I usually don't do research on weight loss aids or supplements per se, but this is in regard to an individual ingredient and not a supplement. The ingredient is synephrine, which is derived from bitter orange. The results were as follows. An additional seven grams of actual body fat burned per hour of exercise. And the research was done in athletic individuals to top it all off. So let's go into the research and I'll understand a little bit what, uh, more about how this substance actually works. And again, there was no COI or conflict of interest in regard to the research themselves. The research titled, How to Increase Fat Burn During Exercise, citation title. So you can research it on your own. Acute synephrine ingestion increases fat oxidation rate during exercise published in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology. We are ahead of publication. It's gonna be published actually in August, 2016. Now this is what's fascinating about the study in itself. All participants were considered physically active to start with, not sedentary, because they had previous experience in endurance exercise activities such as running and cycling at least during the three previous years. This was a double blind, placebo controlled, randomized, counterbalanced experimental design was used in the investigation. And on top of that, the research was important to me they had no support from any organization for the submitted work, no financial relationships with any organizations that might have interest in the submitted work in the previous three years as well. Now keep a look at this chart right here. The important part about synephrine in regard to increasing fax oxidation was the fact that it did not appear to operate as a stimulant. If you look, for example, at the chart, the blood pressure remained generally the same. The heart rate did not change really that much except for one beat per minute over placebo. And here's the kicker. The carbohydrate to fat burning, what you're gonna notice between the placebo and the synephrine group is that they burned less carbs but more fat. That was the main crux of the, the how would you say, the conclusion of the research. That's how it increased fat oxidation. You didn't necessarily burn more calories during your exercise, you burnt more calories from fats. That was the benefit the researchers saw. And as follows, this substance produced a noteworthy change in the substrate utilization during exercise because it increased fat oxidation rate while it reduced carbohydrate oxidation uh, the rate when exercising at a low to moderate intensities. In fact, the synephrine increased the maximal rate of fat oxidation, which might represent an augmented fat utilization of seven grams of fat per hour of exercise despite exercising at the same intensity and at the same heart rate. So basically it just changed what your body utilized for fuel. And what they did is they used about three milligrams per kilogram of body mass of synephrine, which was drunk with water, about 150 milliliters of water, 60 minutes prior to the experiment being carried out itself. A couple of other notes in regard to synephrine, which I found quite intriguing, that the researchers brought forth themselves is also included in the full research HTML. The acute ingestion of synephrine at a certain amount together with caffeine produced a lower perceived exertion during 30 minutes of moderate intensity workout, meaning the workout didn't seem as hard. In addition, the ingestion of synephrine uh, alone or with caffeine was effective at increasing the number of repetitions during squat resistance tests. So synephrine seems to have a lot of benefits in regard to reducing perceived exertion to increasing endurance, at least anaerobic endurance. It didn't seem to work too well in regard to running per se and utilizing fat for fuel as, as your, or in this case, the basically research participants source of fuel. So you wanna burn more fat, look into synephrine, follow the research, and again, always consult your medical professional ahead of time before venturing out onto this field of um, curiosity, so to say. Medications can have interactions, so always play it safe. This is Ralph Turchiano signing off once again, and thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you all next week. Catch you all then, bye.